when will you start fighting for yourself? You fight for every single other person on the planet, all your loved ones. You will be the one that steps in the gap for them. You lay down your life for them. You give everything to them. But when it comes to your own life's purpose, your own vision, you just wimp out. You become weak. Honey, when will you start to fight for yourself? Fight for the life that you want. Fight with the same energy you fight for everyone else in your life. When will you start to give that same energy to yourself? I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight, by the way. I am the Money Minister. And I'm here to call you the action-oriented, spiritual person who knows that you're meant for more. To start fighting for your more. To start fighting for that free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love-drenched life. I want you to get freaking angry about how much time you have given to every single other person in your life except yourself. I want you to get angry about it. I want you to feel the anger that has been bubbling within you for so long. But because you're such a nice, spiritual person, you keep pushing it down and trying to pretend it's not there. You think the divine demands this of you. You think that it makes you somehow somehow a better person because you are not, you are, you are putting everybody else first. It makes you a wimp. It makes you a doormat. It makes you somebody other people can just walk all over because you keep showing up for everybody else, but you refuse to stand up for yourself. People call you selfish, even though you are laying down your freaking life for them. People don't understand where you're coming from. They think you're, they, 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 don't, they misunderstand you. And yet you keep showing up for them. You, they still have expectations of you, of course, and you keep showing up for them, but they're not, they're not appreciative. Some are, okay, I'm not brushing everybody with the same, <laughs> same horrible brush, but Honey, this is your life though. When are you going to start fighting for yourself instead of continually giving in to everyone else's demands, feeling rebellious, feeling submissive, feeling, feeling guilty, feeling ashamed of who you are. And I know you tell me all kinds of stories about, you know, the things that you've been through. And I get that you've been through stuff, but unless you start to fight for the life that you want, you won't get to live it. You're waiting for the divine. You're praying and praying and praying and waiting for the divine to kind of give you another platform or something. Your vision has always been your permission. The divine is waiting for you to actually rise up and commit, decide, commit. This is my life. I am claiming it back. I am taking my life. Instead of continually laying it down for every single other person, I know your religion possibly told you that it is, it is honorable to lay your life down for everybody else. Let me tell you something about Jesus. He's, he, when he did, you know that story where he, you know, his mother, brother comes to the door and he's speaking to the people he's called to serve. And his mother has said, come and come and speak to me. And he says, who are my mother? Who is my brother? It's these people who are doing what I do, who are, who are listening, who are a part of my vision. But you think that laying down your life means that you lay down your vision as well. You lay down your purpose in order to accommodate every single other person on the planet. And then you get resentful. You feel abandoned by the divine, but you don't even talk about this stuff. You feel like a victim of life when you are victimizing yourself continually, time and time and time again, putting yourself last forever, putting your vision down and telling yourself it makes you a good person. It does not. It makes you a wimp. I'm sorry, I want to annoy you. I, I'm not sorry. I want to annoy you. I want you to get in touch with that anger that I know is under the surface because I know when I got in touch with my anger. Mm. Mm. I got angry that I'd given up so many years of my life trying to make everybody else happy. I did it with good intention, just like you're doing it. But in the end, I was not doing what I knew I was called and born to do. I got myself into messes, bankruptcy, because yes, I would find money for everybody else. Couldn't find money to do things that I wanted to do though. No, just like you. Oh, you find money. If somebody else, if your children need something, if your parents need something, if your friends need something, you will somehow find the money to do it. If your church needs something, oh my God, you'll find the money to do it. But then to learn how you can start taking your skills and turn them into six-figure income, do you find the money? No, I don't have money. I don't have time. You find time for everybody else though. 
You find money for everybody else, though, but not you. I did this. I did this. Guess what? Your vision will never start. If you think that the divine is going to come and save the day and suddenly give you this platform and everything will suddenly be fine, you will be waiting until you die. You will fail in life because you did not put yourself and your vision first. You did not make it a priority. You did not fight for yourself. You just lay down and rolled over and let people just walk all over you. Telling yourself it makes you a nice person. Nice people die, die unfulfilled. They do. They do. So you can keep trying to be nice. Keep telling yourself that this is what the divine asks of you. It's a lie. It's a lie. The divine is a fierce warrior. <laughs> Not like you're being. So it's a lie, honey. So wake up. Wake the heck up. I know you, that's the thing. I, I'm not talking to you because I, because if you're weak, you wouldn't even still be listening to me. You're a strong, powerful person and you know it. You can create whatever you set your mind to. The problem is that you don't set your mind towards your own stuff. You set your mind towards everybody else's stuff. Even the career you're doing right now, probably somebody else chose for you and told you that this is a sensible thing for you to do. Just like I chose pharmacy. Not because it was my thing. Not because it was something I wanted to do. No, no, no. My parents told me what I should do and I just went along with it. And yes, you know, when you're young, when you're a child... You don't get that much choice over stuff. But you know what? You're not a child right now. I ain't speaking to no children. You're a grown-ass adult. Take responsibility for where you are in life. If you don't like it, it's because you chose it. Choose a freaking again. <laughs> choose again. Stop acting like you're some kind of victim. You ain't no victim. I know stuff has happened to you. I know. But for how long is that going to continue to control you? Fight for your life. After all, it doesn't stop you from fighting for everybody else's life. It doesn't stop you from being everything to everybody else. Be something to yourself, for goodness sake. Wake up. This is your life. This is your life. And it may be the only life you get. Wake up. You're full of resentment and anger and bitterness and despair. But you keep choosing it. Listen, you need support and you need to pay for the freaking support and stop telling yourself a story about how you can't do this and you can't do the other. Wake up and commit to yourself. Invest in yourself. Come into the Deliberate Millionaire Fast Track. Let us turn this stuff around. There's healing that needs to be done. Absolutely for sure. That's why you keep putting everything and everyone else first. However, you also need clear strategy. You need to actually take action in the direction of the thing that you say that you want. You want that six-figure income, doing what you're called to do, working with people you want to work with, having fun in life. Then come into the fast track. Let me give you clear strategy so that you can actually put the strategy in place. Yeah, we'll do the healing work, but we need clear strategy. You need to be taking practical action in the direction of what you want. Come on, you do it for everybody else. Do it for you for a change. I want to annoy you. And I don't even think I'm being strong enough with my wording here. I want to make you angry enough to move. This is your life. Fight for the one you want. The only person you're fighting is yourself, actually. <laughs> Win that war within yourself. Come back into oneness with yourself. Come back into oneness with the divine. Recognize. You are the only one that can choose to create the free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love-drenched life that you deeply desire. So please, forget everybody else for a second here. Make yourself a priority in your own life. You deserve your own affection and your own attention. So wake up. Wake up. Stop telling yourself crazy stories that keep you stuck. Wake the freak up. Go right now. There's a link around this video. Join the Deliberate Millionaire Fast Track Club or group or membership, whatever. Go, go and join it. There's a link around this video. Join it now. Join it now. Join it now. Let's start this transformational journey to peace, to purpose, to a six-figure income, doing what you're called and born to do. Turn your skills and your wisdom into a six-figure income in your own business. Come on now. Stop wasting time. You're already using all those skills and wisdom to help every single other person in your life. Help yourself. Help yourself, honey. Heal it. Heal yourself.
<laughs> okay. <sighs> Go and join right now. The link is around this video. Join right now. Share this video with somebody else that needs to hear it. Join right now. Much amazing love. Join right now. <laughs> okay, then. Speak soon.